<laughs> it was like a big ass buck. This is the window behind it so I can get the sunlight. That shit looked crazy. Ah! <laughs> I think he heard me. He came to hear some advice. Come to hear Savannah. Welcome the heck back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I felt like talking about culture. Black culture. I'm feeling like a kid today. When I was growing up, I watched Disney every day. Literally because, I don't know, I was just a weirdo freak kid like that. I like to sing, dance, uh, act, see animals talking, things like that. But it was mostly like uh, how I used to feel at the end of the movies. I used to always feel, I used to feel like I went through a bunch of different emotions. Like I was happy, I was sad, I felt motivated. I always, it made me want to like create my own dances, create my own song, write. Uh, Disney inspired me to do so much creativity in my own life. Um, but outside of watching Disney growing up, I also watched a lot of family TV shows. Um, so I grew up in Brooklyn. My family's from Trinidad and Tobago. So, I mean, they moved, they were immigrants. I mean, we all, I was, so growing up, you know, and I remember I was going, we had like one big TV in the living room. And we all would basically come together when these shows would come on and watch it on that one TV set. So, and it was shows like uh, Family Matter and like the Cosby Show. Cosby Show was my favorite fucking show. Like, it just showed, I remember writing a paper in freshman, but that I wrote about the Cosby Show. And how it showed, I forgot the theme, but I know we had to compare something with like TV or whatever. I compared the Cosby show to like how I wanted to view like my family or whatever, you know, because Dr. Huxable was a doctor, obviously, and then Claire Huxable was a lawyer. And then, I mean, at that time growing up, I mean, everyone in school is like, a lawyer for, for Halloween, or do you want to be a doctor for Halloween or whatever? Those are the professions that you see. I mean, I was always very smart, intellectual kind of, so you know, I was being pushed and guided towards those kind of, if you could work for NASA, and I'm like, I don't wanna be a scientist. <laughs> it's just like, but I remember seeing that, and I'm like, you know what, it's powerful though. It's like, they have their own house, it's kind of like their own rules. You know what I mean? It's like, you don't have to just be a teacher, because I had a lot of black uh, African-American teachers, I had like two, two or three growing up in um, public school in Brooklyn, on um, adolescence. There was black, you know, families and content on TV. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I mean, that was probably a little bit more. Like, I, I think my family liked that show a lot more. You know, I remember just laughing. I kind of think it was a little bit more funnier. The Cosby Show was a good show, but they had a lot more themes about, like, you know, it was a little bit deeper rooted. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air is showing different types of family structures. So it's like, Will. It's coming from, you know, you see for the first time black single moms, you know, which is the major, 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 major theme in the black community. You know, but we saw it. We saw it every day. We didn't just see ratchet aspect of it as we see today. We saw, you know, a sister helping her sister raise her kid and then the whole relationship with Uncle Phil to Will, it was just like, that's for us, our culture to see. It doesn't matter who the father figure in your life is. Whatever it is, take the lessons that they're giving you. You know what I mean? My kid, like, I'm not your dad, but I'm doing this anyway. You know what I mean? Which is kind of like more of a situation. I mean, in my life, it rang a lot true because, you know, I didn't raise in the same household with my parents. They were there, but not active, active in my life. But, you know, I had other people there. Had I not took my aunt, my uncle, and my grandma as the Uncle Phil's in my life, I would never have taken any lessons that they taught me. Because I would have been like, well, how come my parents don't want me in their house and whatever? And, you know? I had certain things to watch. So I'm looking back, right? I mean, well, how come, you know, what's wrong with the generation behind? I'm like, because they don't have any examples. We don't have any examples. The culture that's out right now is against us. You know, they're not trying to uplift us. They don't give a sh President Obama's presidency shows that. It shows where the country is naturally going and then where the people who are trying to stop it from growing. You know what I mean? Because it's like, we, didn't, we as a black community couldn't elect a president because we're not in the majority and you have to have I mean, Obviously, black people didn't vote for Obama. The rest of the country did because they saw something different, you know? We, we've lost that and the generation today 
in creating social media to distract them. Working in music and the music industry, you know, I work with rappers and producers who want to do hip hop, and it's like, it's something we talk about every single day. It's like, what is the content about? People are, I mean, we, I'm forming a management uh, team, basically, where it's like, we're covering, we got artists almost in every major city in the country, you could say. And, you know, and we've had a meeting, and we've talked about it, like, these kids, we have to do something to bring back the culture. You know what I mean? And even Jay-Z talks about it in 444. It's like, we have to do something better. You know, Diddy talks about it. Dr. Dre. You know what I mean? It's like, they know that there's something wrong, but we, they're waiting for us to get our lives together. You know, and I'm like, I, I get it. And I need more people to join me too. So I'm like, just talk about stuff like this. So what shows did you watch growing up? You know, I'm going to write... I'm going to make questions, um, interject them into this blog, and if you want to comment below and let's have a real conversation about it, we should. Comment below. Tell me what shows you used to watch growing up, and what do you think is missing from today's culture and content? You know, uh, Jay-Z's Moonlight got a lot of, like, it hit me like something different just because, you know, it super focuses on the industry. The reason I moved from New York City to Los Angeles is super through film and TV with Frankito. You know, I'm a writer. We've been kind of partnering ourselves now since been out here like an actor writer duo where I'm writing out the skits I'm writing out all his stuff and he's just acting it out I mean that's our, our strengths so the Moonlight video hit home because I'm like this is what we me and Frankie talked about from day one it's like all right we're entering into this world but it's kind of like I was upset about the movie industry I was watching like I used to read just Jared in college and all these things I'm watching like the celebrities and the the high school musical cast I mean I love the show but I'm like how come it's not more like Grey's Anatomy which is a show that I love and I love Shonda you know what I mean there's certain production companies there's certain uh, TV channels certain networks I should say certain studios certain you know what I mean people who understand it they're not necessarily color of my skin they're they're whatever they are but they understand the culture needs to be more you know it's like so yes my makeup is different a little bit my nails are done because halfway through this vlog I forgot I had an interview I had a meeting to meet with some people in downtown LA and I'm like I ain't got a time in my face. <laughs> so yeah sorry back to the topic what we're talking about Better talk beans when you speak to me or stay in your lane. No swerve away. I beat a nigga ass like Lamelo told over Monday night isn't the only day that